Good morning and good day to everyone joining us this day 14 in the Apostles' Code, the uh, Unlocking the Power of the Holy Spirit in Your Life by O.S. Hawkins. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank You for all that You have given us and especially for the Holy Spirit, who we are growing to know more and more. Please teach us, Father, and be patient with us as we learn. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anyone who has visited the Holy Land has likely been struck by the stark contrast of the two inland bodies of water in the state of Israel the Sea of Galilee in the north, and the Dead Sea in the south. The Sea of Galilee is teeming with life, abundant with all types of thriving aquatic life. It is often crystal clear and a beautiful blue in color. The Jordan River's headwaters flow from a myriad of springs near Mount Hermon, and journey south to where the river empties into the Sea of Galilee. From there, it finds its outlet at the southern end of the sea and continues its flow down the Jordan Valley until it empties into the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea has earned its name for a reason. It is dead. No aquatic life whatsoever is found in its waters and the sulfuric smell rising from it is nauseating. What causes this difference between the two bodies of water? The Dead Sea has only an inlet. It takes in but does not give out. The Sea of Galilee, on the other hand, has both an inlet and an outlet. It not only receives it gives away. So it is with the vibrant believer who not only receives God's fullness, but also gives it away. And then, like the Sea of Galilee, is constantly being refilled with the Spirit. Our code word today is water. Whenever you see water today, whether it's in a sea, a lake, or a glass, let it remind you of these two very different bodies of water and of God's desire for you to be like the Sea of Galilee, receiving His fullness and giving it away. Matthew 10, verse 8, Freely you have received, freely give. Our prayer for today Lord, make me simply a channel of your blessing today. Fill me so that your power flows through me to touch and encourage someone who needs hope this very day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining in, brothers and sisters. I pray the Lord's peace be with you and that he would bless and keep you until we meet again. Amen.